everyone. Today we're going to be talking about how you can use the Galen Context Database from the QVCC Library to find some resources for your assignments. You can see we're at the QVCC homepage. We just go up here to Student Resources and we go down to Library, which brings us to the Library homepage. Off to the left, we see all the ways you can contact the librarians as well as all of our library hours. To find the database we're looking for, we're actually going to go right under our blue search box to this Find Articles button. And this brings us to our databases A to Z. Now, since we know the name of our database we're looking for today, we can go directly to G for Gale. So here's our particular database. It's actually Global Issues Gale in Context. We go ahead and click into that. And this is a great database for us to use if we have anything where we need to form an argument, where we need to see both sides of an issue. There's a couple of ways we can navigate through. You can either look up here and start putting things in your search bar or your advanced search, or you can go down here to about the middle where it says browse issues. I always recommend that you actually start at the browse issues just because the issue that you're looking for probably exists, but it may not be termed exactly what you're looking for. So then you're just going to search through here until you see the one you're looking at. And we're actually going to choose this climate change right over here to the left. You can see this first box at the very top. This is going to give you a brief overview of your topic. So if, for instance, you haven't searched on this topic before, this is going to give you a great place to start where you can start learning and coming up with some of those keywords you're going to need to do additional searching. If we look under that, we also see that we have lots of other content. We have some academic journals, some newspapers, some viewpoints, some magazines. Let's just assume that they want you to be looking at academic journals. You'll see here we've clicked on academic journal and these are all of our academic journals that we have. If a professor wants them to be peer reviewed journals over here to the right under filter your results, you'll see peer reviewed journals and that narrows it down a little bit. The other thing they might ask you is to only look at results for a certain date range. That's going to be under filter your results and publication date, you will need to fill both boxes. So for instance, if you're looking for things in the last 10 years, let's just look from October of 2012 to today. You see I've filled both boxes here. So we'll just hit apply. We can also be looking for publication type, document type, and here you see the search within button. This allows us to search within the results we already have, just make them a little bit more specific. And again, these are just more ways that we're going to keep narrowing our topic down. Once we find the article that we like, we just go ahead and click on that. And along the top, we have our citation. Again, we can copy and paste this directly into our Works Cited page. We have our send to options. Email is always a good option for this one. If it says full text PDF in this middle part, then you want to go ahead and choose that. This only says full text or citation. So in this particular instance, we would actually need to send ourselves two emails. If it says PDF full text down here, then you don't have to worry about that because it'll actually send the citation as well. And then we have our download. Make sure that you are either sending it to yourself or you're downloading it. Downloading it is the best option if you can do that because as you can see, we don't have any page numbers associated with the article in this format. So it's a little hard to do our in-text citations. However, when we go out and look at our PDF, we can see that we do have some page numbers there. If you look to the right here, you'll see a couple of really interesting things. You see this more like this. These are actually articles that closely match the one that you're looking at. So this is a great way to find one article and use it to find other articles that might be useful. And then right below it, you have related subjects. This is going to run a whole new search for you. If you have any further questions about the Gale and Context database or any other or any of the other services that the library has to offer, please don't hesitate to contact the librarians. Have a great day. Music